Homeward Bound, March 28, In the Shadow of the Cross God forbid that I should boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 6, verse 14 There can be no self-exaltation, no boastful claim to freedom from sin on the part of those who walk in the shadow of Calvary's cross. They feel that it was their sin which caused the agony that broke the heart of the Son of God, and this thought will lead them to self-abasement. Those who live nearest to Jesus discern most clearly the frailty and sinfulness of humanity, and their only hope is in the merit of a crucified and risen Savior. The sanctification now gaining prominence in the religious world carries with it a spirit of self-exaltation and a disregard for the law of God that mark it as foreign to the religion of the Bible. Its advocates teach that sanctification is an instantaneous work by which, through faith alone, they attain to perfect holiness. Only believe, say they, and the blessing is yours. No further effort on the part of the receiver is supposed to be required. At the same time, they deny the authority of the law of God, urging that they are released from obligation to keep the commandments. But is it possible to be holy in accord with the will and character of God without coming into harmony with the principles which are an expression of His nature and will, and which show what is well-pleasing to Him? The desire for an easy religion that requires no striving, no self-denial, no divorce from the follies of the world, has made the doctrine of faith and faith only a popular doctrine. But what saith the word of God? The testimony of the Word of God is against this ensnaring doctrine of faith without works. It is not faith that claims the favor of heaven without complying with the conditions upon which mercy is to be granted. It is presumption. For genuine faith has its foundation in the promises and provisions of the Scriptures. Let none deceive themselves with the belief that they can become holy while willfully violating one of God's requirements. The commission of a known sin silences the witnessing voice of the Spirit and separates the soul from God. We cannot accord holiness to any without bringing them to the measurement of God's only standard of holiness in heaven and in earth. The Great Controversy, pages 471 and 472.